So it's been over a year since the day we broke up the band and played our last show at Madison Square Garden. And the past year has been spent primarily working on Shut Up and Play the Hits and the concert film. So we haven't spent a lot of time with Keith because he decided he was going to retire after the band broke up. It seemed natural so we could get back to his first love, which is painting and working the land in the country. And the question on everybody's mind in the band, my own mind, friends, was what's Keith doing now? I mean, how can he go from a music business life, fast paced, and then suddenly out here in the idyllic trees, in the woods, that's what we decided to endeavor to find out. When the opportunity came to make extra features for the DVD, it was the first thing we thought of. So that's a two hour drive outside the city. I hope this rain goes away, but Keith says it comes and goes. Let's get my sound gear and let's catch up with Keith. All right. Ready? Are you guys rolling? Yeah. Camp speed? James, we'd like some wine. Dear boy. That's quite enough for you. Quite enough for me, actually. It's, uh. Well, welcome to Catching Up with Keith. Cheers. And welcome to Catching Up with Keith. I'm looking forward to catching up with myself as well, really. So what questions do you have for me, James? Um, do you have a list? I mean, I'm not that kind of a journalist. <laughs> I'm more conversational okay. in, in nature. So, I, so tell me, how are you getting on without me? It's not the same. Um, it's not the same for me. That's it's not the same. Yeah. You know, it used to be when... Um, when people would like, you know, you'd get a bonus or something or a record would go well and, and stuff and you'd make some money. People would go on like big holidays or do a, buy a nice car. I used to buy a field. So bit by bit, you kind of, you know, you buy a field and you well, buy this space, you know. It's quite, it's quite an extraordinary thing to do. You buy a field and you just suddenly have this space. And then you do nothing with it. Then you do nothing with it. You, you go and stand in the middle of it, you know. Well, when did you get this house? Um, 14 years ago, I think. 15 years ago. So early enough that the record industry hadn't died yet. Oh, no, no, this, this, was, this was basically, I got, uh, sm this Smashing Pumpkins bought a lot of this house. They, they totally helped pay this bugger. Um, watch yourself with the branches there. Chicken coop, let's just move that out of the way. This is where the magic happens. I somehow don't believe that entirely. This is, yeah, well, you, you should. You particularly should believe. Picture of my two favorite people, Iggy and Norman. Fartboy Slim. Here we go, here's LCD. Yeah, there's no million sales of anything. What's that? There's no million sales. No, that was um, 100,000. I think that's gold in Luxembourg, which I think is 50. Yes. Actually, I think it's platinum in Luxembourg. <laughs> 50 copies is platinum. <laughs> Big in Estonia, I, I heard. You have a lot of portraits of animals, Keith. These, these trees are 110, 115 years old. Um, Did you plant them? You know, I was waiting for that. 